how would I paint it? This one is on strawberries. One of my students from my online course sent this in and um, I'm going to explain how I take this and turn it into this and the rationale behind it. So I like to start with looking at the reference photo. Here's a cute photo of strawberries. The painter who sent this in was strawberry picking with her granddaughter and looked down and just admired this little um, vignette and thought it would be a nice reminder of picking strawberries with her granddaughter. What the first decision I try to make is what's going to be the focal point of the painting. So there are two candidates in this picture. One, you could do the blossom uh, because it's white against uh, a really dark shadow there. Or you could do the strawberry and that has the uh, complementary colors of red versus green. So that could be really nice. I asked my student which one she was planning on and she said the strawberry. So we're going with that one. So let's look at, look at the painting. The first thing that I notice is that the strawberry it has a, a lit part on it that's been made lighter by mixing white into the red. And that only takes you halfway there because white is a cold color. Think of it like snow. If you add white to a color, it's gonna make the color cooler. And sometimes that's fine. You want it to be a cool color. But in this case, with all this yellow light flooding onto uh, the leaves and strawberries and blossoms, we want it also to be warm. So not only do we put white in there, we put in yellow. Red with some white and some yellow gives you the, the light part of the strawberry. I noticed too that, um, you know, she's taken a couple of the green strawberries and made them red, which, you know, you can do. But what I see here is that the three strawberries seem to be um, of equal interest and um, intensity. It's kind of like they're all three backup singers instead of a diva and two backup singers. That would be something that, that if you want three red strawberries, you have to make one really dominate over the other two. And the other thing that I would do is uh, emphasize the shadows. If I look back at the original photo, I, I can sketch on here with, I'll just put black over everything that I think is in shadow. And that's, that's something I do every time I begin a painting. I figure out where the shadows are. To sum up, I strengthen the shadows, which really adds depth to the painting. And I put yellow into the strawberry where it's lit, as well as a couple of the leaves nearby and the blossom in light. I think that's it. That's all I had to do to this one little, little gem. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button and happy painting. See you next time.